check out these vintage Nike Air Revolutions from 1988. The Air Revolution was the very first pair of Nike basketball shoes ever to feature visible Nike Air. They were designed by Tinker Hatfield, who was the inventor of visible air. In 1987, Tinker was inspired by the George Pompidou Center in France, and it inspired him to design a pair of shoes where you could actually see the technology, the visible air. The first shoe that Nike ever made that was like that was the Air Max. And then a year later, Nike took that technology from the running category and they put it on a basketball shoe and they started right here with the 1988 Air Revolution. Now that same year, Tinker Hatfield also designed the Air Jordan 3, which was the first Air Jordan that he ever designed. And actually, originally the Air Jordan 3 was supposed to be called the Air Jordan Revolution. Check this out. I've got a sketch right here of the Air Jordan 3, and it says Air Jordan Revolution right here in Tinker Hatfield's writing. Let's have a look at the Air Revolution, and let's compare it to the Air Jordan 3. So first off, have a look down here at the midsole, and please ignore this chipping and deterioration. It's inevitable on a pair of shoes that's almost 30 years old with visible air in that polyurethane midsole. But anyway, look at the shape of the midsole. And I'm gonna put right here the Air Jordan 3 so that we can compare. Actually, the midsole on the Air Jordan 3 and the visible air window is exactly the same as on the Air Revolution. And not just the midsole, but also the outsole. Check out the outsole right here. And then, boom, the Air Jordan 3. Really, the only difference is Nike and Jordan, and of course, these ones are new, and this is an old vintage pair. Pretty cool details right there. Something else that matches the Air Jordan 3, have a look at the lacing system, in particular the speed lacing right here. And there you have the Air Jordan 3. Same thing with those little rings right here. Pretty incredible when you compare the shoes side by side with one another. Now, the shoe is called the Air Revolution because Nike was really starting a new revolution with shoes. This is a print ad that came from a 1988 magazine, Gravity Will Never Be the Same. There was also an incredible television ad campaign. Nike used the Beatles song Revolution without permission, and there was a big lawsuit between the Beatles and Nike, Apple Records. Even Michael Jackson was a part of the suit because he owned part of the rights. Let's bring this revolution back up and have a look at it. It's such a shame that it's falling apart, but honestly, nobody would consider wearing a pair of shoes from 1988, so it's really something to put on the shelf and admire. Pretty nice. Another cool feature on the Air Revolution is this Velcro strap right here. This was actually inspired by ski boots. Remember ski boots from the late 80s and early 90s and you'd strap them on and as you put this strap in, it would sort of like click into place. That was the inspiration for the strap up there. When I look at the Air Revolution, especially with the strap, I can't help but think of the Nike Mag. Let's check this out. I've got a pair of mags right here. The mag was also designed by Tinker Hatfield and it originally debuted in Back to the Future 2 in 1989, just one year after the Air Revolution came out. Tinker designed the mag, Tinker designed the Revolution. Look at these shoes. Like, they're so similar. It's crazy. All the way down to that Nike logo that you see on the strap. And I've always thought this, ever since the mag came out in 2011, I looked at it, and I was like, wow, this is like a beefed up Air Revolution. And we just said that the Air Revolution was a beefed up Air Jordan 3. Anyway, it's been a great pleasure introducing you to this vintage pair. You can actually see it's deteriorating as we do a review on it. A shoe like this, you really have to be super careful with it. You don't want to touch it a whole lot. You just want to admire it.